Hello everyone, my name is Corazar, and welcome back to Vintage Story Desert Life, episode 32. This video originally streamed live on YouTube on May 26th, 2024. I hope you enjoy the episode. Okay, so we need some muddy gravel. While we're out, it might be nice to pick up things like lily pads too. I don't recall... Do they still show up on the map? I know it used to be like, you'd see like speckled water around lily pads. I also want to get some more um, papyrus to plant here for decoration too, so we'll get a bit of everything. Including apparently some rifts. And there's papyrus up there for us. What have we got here? We just have, oh, we have regular gravel here. That actually might not be a bad place to start getting some more regular gravel, actually. Papyrus first. I forget. Do I have the mod that lets me harvest seaweed or not? No, nope, I don't. Okay, never mind. Plus, maybe seaweed in an oasis doesn't really quite make sense. Leave the tongs. Never! Never leave the tongs. <laughs> Yay, finally get to see you uh, decorate lily pads. This doesn't mean we find any. <laughs> if we find something, sure. Absolutely. I will just tear out this little growth of uh, papyrus in case we want some more to scatter around. Maybe in planters, too. Kind of nice. I see we You wish totally had more uses? Yeah, I I I think the, the restriction of thatch to just the Thule is kind of uh I mean, realistically, probably makes sense. Uh but like as far as like, game design. I think it's a bit of a pain. I just hope... I know Tyron said he wants to eventually remove grass. As I recall, the Thule is cheaper. Like, in terms of material costs in the recipes, the Thule is cheaper. Um, but... I think he wants to remove the grass option in the future. I hope he doesn't. Alright, so there's that. Let's see. Lily pads. Dead ahead. Flint. Also dead ahead. Um, let's see. Shumvel. Uh, you know what? Let's grab some of the some of the brown sedge here. This could be fun to plant too. Hey, there we go. All right. A little more chickies. These kind of pop off kind of funny. They don't pop off. They pop off a block adjacent to where they actually break. <laughs> That's pretty funny. They pop off to the northwest, looks like. Yep, every time. <laughs> I love silly little bugs like that. They're just amusing. Alright, got hyenas to look out for. And pigs with no young. That's good. I'll grab this sedge over here with uh, the knife. And then it's lily pad time. Oh, we have the uh, muddy gravel here too. Nice. Does Tully spawn in the south? Um, it can, as long as you're at a high enough elevation. So like if, if there's like a 100 block tall mountain, like a plateau, uh, we could find brown sedge here. Or so we could find, find Tully here. <laughs> I'm reading the top of the screen and Trying to talk at the same time. It goes real well. Alright, almost done. And this will definitely be enough for 
what we're using it for. Hello. This hedge reminds you of a native plant where you live, where it's leaves can cut you. That's pretty nasty. Let's get some of this stuff. I don't need a ton of this, but uh, I'll take like a stack or so. should be fine. Let's get this off the bar so I can see how much we have. Oh, I've got the awkward swimming mechanics now. I don't like the floatiness. Does it make sense? Yes. Do I hate it? Still yes. Last one. There we go. And now it's lily pad time. All right. These are easy. Excuse you. Can a guy work here in peace? Up. Oh, killed the music. My bad. My B. But I wanted the pad. I needed it. That's probably more than enough. But uh, we'll just clear out the rest of these here while we're here. I want them for decoration later. Oh, there's one I missed. Ta-da! Does Sedge spawn up north? I'm not sure about that. It's a definite maybe. <laughs> I think, again, it also depends on the climate, because, like, different um, different areas have different variations in climate. So there are actually places, like, in the north where it's, like, consistently five degrees warmer than, you know, a place that's a thousand blocks east or west. Um, so I, there are places in the north where you're going to find, like, warmer weather that causes things to spawn where you're, like, that doesn't spawn up here. Boop. I was like, that pig is running, but she was just going back to her boy. It's fine. You know, while we're here, grab some more flowers. I'm not sure how many I have left. We planted a lot of these flowers around. I want to make sure I'm not out of them. I want to decorate with some of these, I think. There we go. Let's start. Oh, we, I needed to get some gravel. Should I get a gravel? Uh, I have space. Sitting here going, I'm happy to go start working on this now. Nope. I need some more regular gravel. Let's get some from here. Oop. Oh, I'm starving, not uh, drowning. <laughs> oh, I'm still going to starve. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. I think what I'll do is I'm going to probably use some of this to also spill up onto the edge of the oasis. And then I'll use some uh, low fertility soil as well. And it should grow some uh, grass during winter. So as I recall, we should be able to still grow grass on dirt blocks here, just not when it's over 40 degrees. It might even be... No, I think 30 degrees should be fine. Ah, uh, air. Whew. Ah, much better. I did want some of this for pathing. Oh, and that's right. So, okay, instead of using the gravel path... Oh, but I have a new idea. So, for the pathing, what if we use the wood pathing, which I think what I said in a previous stream, but we place it on the gravel. Because it would make sense, because like the wood would just sink into the sand. But if we gravel it first, then the wood, you know, the gravel will help sort of hold things in place a bit. I'm just thinking like how I would, you know, build a brick walkway. I'd, I'd you know, 
Dig down. Put some gravel down first. Oh, I'm drowning. <laughs> I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I'm breathing, I'm breathing. My lungs are working. Yeah, you know, put down gravel first and then, you know, tamp that down and then put the sand on because the gravel can then hold the sand um, sort of in place, keep it from sort of percolating into the dirt. Up we go. A little bit more here than we've done here. Yeah, so we do some gravel and then put the wood on top of the gravel. That way it has like a bit of definition around the wood. I wonder if a hardcore version of Vintage Story where you play as a human during the sort of rot era. That'd be pretty cool, actually. That would be like a really neat sort of prequel kind of experience. All right, I'm going to finish up this stack. And there we go. All right, let's get up here. How does your garden grow? Slowly, is the correct answer. All right, so we're gonna do some of this muddy gravel down here. All part of the master plan. Okay, so then we're gonna take out this layer of sand here. And I think what I'll do is I'll probably have some of the muddy gravel spill into this layer uh, a little bit. Not much, but just enough to give it some more definition. And then I'm, I'll get some food, I swear. <laughs> uh, YMC, the guy. Uh, Fady, would you mind uh, bringing the hammer down? That's not funny. Or Ruby, one of you two. Let's get some plants up in here. Uh, get the plants out of my inventory. Oh, we can put these down too. There we go. All right, so food, food time. Get some of this. Well, then I will ban later. Okay, so we need to make some more food here. Uh, oh, you're spoiled already. Okay, let's do, we'll do three servings of poultry with some of this. And I don't think we have any fruit. No, okay. All right. And we have eh, probably not enough. Thank you, Ruby. I might also go and Make a few more. And just stack some firewood up here. Ah, uh, there we go. I'll come back in a minute for that one. Open the door. Grab a whole bunch of sand. Ned's, Ned's, Ned. <laughs> he says you walk away for two minutes and this happens. Yeah. 
It was like the day when I first started the uh, the Discord server. I was like, good night, everybody. And then we had like someone come on and just try to wreck things. I was like, oh, yep, of course, naturally. Because I had not thought at all about like, oh, I should have some mods <laughs> on the server. <laughs> Hello there, old wolf Theron. Good to see you today. We are just in the middle of digging out the basin for our oasis, our oasin, and forgetting about the food that we have cooking right now. Boop! There we go, that's plenty. All right. YouTube is kind of inconsistent notifying when we go live. Yeah, um, the, the, the whole ring the bell as well thing never really worked out for me. Uh, I remember it used to send you emails too. I don't know if it still does, but like I get emails like, hey, someone is live. I'm like, thanks for the sending an email that I check like once a day. <laughs> It's a good grief, guys. I should put chickens in here, pretend they're ducks. <laughs> that could be fun. I wouldn't mind having some, like, free-range chickens. Uh, as long as I don't, you know, get too attached to them, because they might just wander out of the compound eventually. Once I open the door by accident. All right, so all of this will be raised up by one block. So we'll put down a whole bunch of dirt for that. I would like to have ducks. I think I think waterfowl of a couple different like kinds would be great. Like maybe duck and either swans or geese. All right, so there's that. Let's put our dirt down as a layer to keep the. Uh, the gravel in place in case we should ever end up digging under here. Of course, I didn't put that underneath this, but whatever, it's on stone anyway. I don't think we'll be digging under here anyway, so I'm not super concerned about that. I do find the animation now for placing blocks is really weird. Like, you have your your shoulders like pop forward or something, or maybe your hands do. It's very weird to me. <laughs> yeah, you're right. The chickens slash uh, pretend ducks would absolutely walk into a pit kiln. Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do some of this. All right, I was going to blend some of this, like maybe at the ends here, a bit like that, maybe a bit uh, here like this, and then here, like that. And the rest will then be regular gravel. Oops. Not like that. Get your elbows coming forward. I mean, that's... <laughs> elbows don't do that. I mean, when I, when I place a thing, my elbows don't, like, swing in front of my face, though. <laughs> Alright, that snag goes back there. together. It's also going to be... Oh, right. Now we're good. This is going to be murder to actually try to uh, fill with water, but we'll make do. Okay, so there's that. Let's get the water in here first. Uh, this is going to be very painful, but we can do it. We have half an hour almost. Plenty of time. Alright, so what do I need to move out of here? We got some stone knife blades. Um, we have... Oh, man. Let's move the limestone to, like, a dedicated bin, I think. It's probably the, the move to make here. Or, you know what, for now, I'm just going to tuck these over here. Definitely igneous. <laughs> oh, no. I'm still out of room. Uh, you go here, too. There we go. I think we're good. 
Uh, let's pop. The muddy gravel needs to go somewhere. I was putting the extra dirt. Ah, here we go. Up in here. Papyrus as well. Papyrus. Uh, let's grab a bone. Since our knife is about dead. There we go. You have three left. Goodbye, bone knife. All right. So, let's get our bucket. It's already got water in it. We'll start by filling the bottom. So, unlike the other block game, you kind of have to fill every single square by hand. And then you got to do it again. Because you end up with these, like, little bits of flowing water that just get in the way. How are we doing? Uh, doing okay. This is going... well enough. I think we're good here. All those things are not moving anymore. Perfect. We got something here. We got you, and we probably got you. And we still got you. Uh, there we go. Weird. Okay, I think I think there's a collision. If you look at it from an angle, I think there's a collision on the side of a water block, which is what trips me up sometimes. Which might mean. Whoops. So if. Let's pretend. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that sound just <laughs> breaks me to my core every time. <laughs> Get out of here. Two for one day. Ow. And... Get out of here. That, that growl is just... There's something about that growl that is so perfect. There we go. Can I put dirt in the deep parts first and then dig it out? I could do that. Um, I have I have less luck doing that than just sort of making like a running line of dirt across the top of the water. So we'll do that. I'm going to hydrate while we're sleeping. And we're back. All right. So let's check out. I want to try something here. So what if I do this? I can put it on the edge of the water. Interesting. So you can kind of put it like right at the edge of the on the water, and it places it against the water block. Sort of. Maybe only if they're in the air. Yeah, it just it just filled that one right there. That's not so bad. I can deal with that. Uh, what do we got here? Anything moving here? Nope, just my bubbles from moving around. You probably can't see it from the compression, but there is actually a slight change. Like, when I when I place a bucket of water on the surface, I can sort of see it there. So here we go. This is propagating really well now. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> Interesting. So putting on the edge is actually a handy way to fill that in first. This is going faster than I anticipated. And so far, no headaches. <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> Mysterious block. Just does not fill with water.
Now, supposedly, in Vintage Story, there is a mechanic where if there's water on three sides of a block, it should fill that block in. So this one, yeah, so it did fill this block in right here. So we filled these three around it. So there is some aspect to that. But it won't do corners like that. Since the oil lamps are waterproof, could I give the pond some underwater lighting? I could, actually. I'm not sure I will. I think it would be neat, but a little unrealistic, obviously. I think I might not do that. So we got something flowing here. Ah, oh, there we go. So let's see. Let's drop a bucket here. Where else do we have? Something is flowing this direction. We got that one. Let's get this guy. It's so weird seeing just like a giant hole in the water just closes up. <laughs> what am I missing here? flowing towards something here. I am filling it into my bucket underwater because that is how water works. This might be the way to do it actually. <laughs> just some underwater and just spam right click while you hold down the uh, sprint key. that going. All right, so we got something over here. Oops. We got something right here. What am I missing here? It seems to be this block right here. Let's see if we can nail that. There we go. I got it. Got this guy, and then I think just this one right here. There we go. That was not so bad, actually. That was not, like, really bad, but it was there. I would prefer if water propagated like the other block came. Could I transport the bioluminescent water via bucket? No, unfortunately. That's actually a property of the... Whoops. Oh, darn it. No, 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 no. Ah. Uh... <laughs> stop. Stop it, game. No, stop it, game. No. Have mercy on my soul. <laughs> you come with me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, man. Are we done yet? It's still draining somewhere. There we go, it's all gone. <laughs> oh, it's pretty good. Love it. Chakri skeletons? Skelet skeletons? You want to know some traders want wolf pups? Does this mean you can train them? That would be great if you could. Oh, but yeah, there is a mod for that. Oh, I don't have that installed, though. I don't trust companions to just not die on me in this game. Alright, so, with that painful business out of the way, uh, let's go and get our gravel again. Here we go. And a bit more dirt. The rest of our dirt, apparently. At least the low fertility stuff. And let's do a little bit of, like, spillover here of the gravel. So, like... Something like this. Maybe a little bit up here. We'll probably do a little bit more water repair after this, but that's okay. And definitely some right up here. Mm, 
maybe not. I know in previous versions of the game it could be a little bit buggy where like you'd end up with parts that are just not you know, they don't refill back in. Where the water still thinks it's flowing when it doesn't need to be. And then I guess we'll do some definitely across here. There we go. Can I further explain why you can't transport bioluminescent water? So the water itself isn't bioluminescent. It's the water being in the biome that makes it bioluminescent. So like this here, because we're not in a uh, high rainfall area, or like I think it's like common as the minimum, we won't get the bioluminescent, bioluminescent property. It's not like the property isn't on the water. It's on where the water is. That's why. All right, let's get something going on here, too. Right here at the end, I think. The perfect spot for some more of this. There we go. And I think over here, we'll also have some dirt. Which may become grass eventually. We'll see. Actually, we can check up here. Yeah, this still isn't becoming grass. I'm a little concerned about that. It's only 25 degrees here. In theory, I would think it should grow some grass, but I'm not positive. Hmm. If that's the case, what I might do is I might still plant some of these little patches here, but I won't make them very big. And then I'll make sure that I put plants on them to kind of cover up some of the brown, brown dirty stuff. AKA dirt. <laughs> the brown dirty dirt stuff, you know. I just tell it like it is. Some there, maybe some over here. Maybe even adjacent to the water. I think some maybe over here too. Yeah, like right over here. There we go. Okay. And then I did say that I wanted another tree here for the daytime. I want to get a little bit more shade over that one corner of the pond. Let's grab a seed. Although I also said that I might want to have a kapok, like just one, to stick up and be taller than the rest. So let's try it. We'll try a kapok. Uh, I might also plop some pomegranate trees inside the compound. That'd be nice. Um, and then of course we need these guys. We need the, ooh, bamboo shoots. A couple of those. Uh, papyrus, papyrus, and then the sedge. And then some flowers. And I don't have any poppies. But that might be a quest for next time then. All right, so sedge, kapok seed. Flower, papyrus, water lily, and bamboo. <laughs> Alright, so I think, yeah, like right here at the water's edge, the water's sedge, if you will. Let's plop you there. And if it's a shorty, then we'll cut it down. I just want like one that's maybe like two to two and a half times taller than the rest of these trees here. And that will be plenty. So, let's get some of these lily pads down here. A little tan. I don't like that as much, but whatever. Hey, a flower! I think I will see if I can find the flower patches. So that's another property of where you plant them. Uh, flowers and where they appear, they are uh, seed deterministic. 
So if I plant a lily pad here, it will always have a flower. Plant one here, I always get this one. So that's why if you ever see me like replacing lupins and stuff, uh, that's me trying to get a nice, uh, you know, lupin that grows with, you know, three or four stalks or whatever. And then if you got in the middle here, and a couple over here, and then a couple here. I think I'm going to keep them out of the shade. They wouldn't like the shade very much, as I recall. Um, I remember there was a place I used to go to vacation, and there'd be lily pads everywhere, except for in the shade. Uh, that's pretty nice for lily pads. Let's get some of these planted. Let's do a couple here. And like here. And then something that would like the shade over here. Well, you're not quite shaded all day. You're still got some sun. So I'm thinking maybe, let's see, maybe the brown sedge. Maybe patch this over here. And we're going to plant something over here too. looking pretty good. Uh, let's get some of these flowers down. I think these wouldn't grow at the water's edge, so we'll plant them like one block away, as much as I can here at least. A couple over here, like so. And one here, and then like one there and there. Yeah, I could do that. And then maybe the one here in the corner. All gone. And then bamboo. I might just want to do like a couple little bamboo here. So let's do like a stand right there. That's a brand, a brown, a brown bamboo shoot. I want the bamboo themselves. <laughs> do I even have any of the saplings? I don't think I do. Is the plant being off center part of the seed determinism? Yes, it is. Um, so they'll always be in whatever awkward position they end up in. And they are often quite awkward. Um, all right, so bamboo, yes, pomegranate, also yes. All right, lily pads, we're done with you, brown sedge, done with you. Let's get down here and let's go grab some bamboo. Uh, we're going to go this way. Here we are. Will lily pads turn green again, or does the biome dictate their color? It's a combination of biome and um, current weather. Like I've noticed that things are being becoming less green right now, even um, because we're getting toward winter, which is kind of funny. Like in the desert, you think things would turn greener, <laughs> but I guess that's not the case. They're really tall, They're hard to shear. more of these sapling seedling things. Oh, I can reach that one. Sweet. I'll take it. You are out of my grasp. Yeah, not quite. Okay, good enough. It is time for our axe to break itself. Yeah, bamboo doesn't make much sense either, but uh, we'll grow it in the shade, and it'll be fine. <laughs> That's not going to break on its own, is it? Shovel. Alright, let's do another axe, and then we'll finish that up here.
I will replant the bamboo just so that we can have some in case we want it for, want it for later. But only like a couple, I think. Man, last time I chopped bamboo, it was with like a steel axe, I'm pretty sure. Going from steel to stone just hurts, man. Seraphim says you live in the Mojave Desert and summer is when everything dies because we get to 125 Fahrenheit or 52 Celsius. That's pretty crazy. I do wonder if one of the reasons the grass doesn't grow is that it's rare rainfall. I don't know if that has an effect on it or not. I wouldn't be surprised, but... I'm going to break this axe on the bamboo shoots. Because I can. Okay, so let's just plant like two of these. So one there and one there. It should be good. Grab you. And I see some crops that are ready. Only a couple. I'll come back later. It's fine. A little too full up anyway. Just sucked out your grass block. How dare you? How dare you mention that feature of that other block game here? <laughs> okay, so we got some bamboo. Let's do one stand like here. Right there. And then the other one will go basically here behind the eventual kipak tree. And then we can put like a... Ooh, can I plant this? I can plant you somewhere. You being a pomegranate tree. Uh, let's do one. Hmm... Let's do one, like, here by the wall. We'll do one back in here. We'll see how many of these actually sprout. And maybe one back here. I was going to do, like, here, but it's a little bit under the canopy here. So maybe I put you... Right here. Perfect. A little crowded, not too bad. And there we go. Can't we just... Excuse me. I can't wait to see these trees grow up. And... Give us a little bit, little bit more shade, a little more color. More definition to our area here. But I think this is pretty lively. The only thing we're missing now is some pathing. Which I think we'll probably start with next week. And we'll get the paths in. And then we'll be pretty well done with the oasis and then we'll want to get into some serious uh getting into iron into steel making all that jazz uh figure out where to put a windmill uh, i might even attach that to the oasis somewhere here uh, maybe like a, a little dedicated smithy on that side or something um but yeah that's this is coming along really well and i'm really happy with how this turned out i might want to drop back down there for a second yeah I see a spot that looks a little awkward. Right here, this corner right here. I think this needs to be some gravel. Just like that. Oops. Let's look again. Yeah, that's better. That helps quite a bit. And like Wurst. <laughs> yep. There's a little bit of a, a little bit of a bratwurst here. That's okay. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, that's it for today's stream, guys. I've had a blast getting this oasis and our little builds here all set up and ready to go. There are a couple more things that just occurred to me. 
uh, one is we need a pergola for the uh, smithing area. One that will actually cover up the uh, the the forge and the the anvil itself. Uh, but yeah, that'll be, I think for next time, we'll start off with a little bit of finishing up of that. Get our oasis completely done here. And then we'll move on to sort of expanding our tech. We'll start climbing the tech ladder. Uh, starting probably with some more copper mining. We need a lot of, of copper and bronze, uh, not just for getting into the Iron Age, but also for some things we want to build later on uh, that I think will look better with, you know, copper, like the lanterns. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Hope you are too. And, oh, as, as far as next weekend stream goes, I don't know yet whether it will be Saturday or Sunday. Uh, Corza and I need to sit down and figure out what the weekend schedule is going to be like. But aside from that, I hope to see you all then. But for now, as always, my name has been Kurzar. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.